Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in our previous video, we have seen how we can get the details of a currently logged in user. So in this video, I want to update the password of the user. For example, if user want to change its password, then we also have to provide that functionality and user must be logged in to access this resource. So I simply go to my auth controller and just after getting logged in, I put in here the oops, update slash change password and that will go to slash api slash v1 slash um let's put in here the password slash update and then let's simply copy this stuff from here and that is update password like this okay so now first of all i have to get the currently logged in user so i simply type here const const user equals to await user dot find by id that is only pass here request dot user dot id now i also have to select here the password so i simply type here dot select and that assembly pass here plus password now i i also want to select the password because i want to ask the user to enter the old password and then the new password so we will basically verify that its old password is correct and then we have to set the new password basically all right so i have selected the user now let's check here first of all uh, check previous user password simply type here cons is matched equals to await user oops, dot compare password remember we have created this compare method a uh, compare password method in our model if we can show you here the models user uh, this one so this method help us to compare the password so we'll simply type here compare password and we simply pass here request dot body dot old password so it will basically check the old password here and then verify that it is correct or not and simply type here that if not is matched means that pa old password is wrong i will simply return from here and send new error handler and pass in here old password is uh, incorrect like this but if it is matches then I simply pass here user dot password will be equal to request dot body dot password all right and then we still have to save the user so await user oops await user dot save and we have to send the token because now its password is changed so i have to give the new token so new other user then 200 status code and then the rest all right uh we we'll put here the closing bracket oh that is send token like this all right so now if i press ctrl s go to the off and then let's put in here slash password slash update and we have to update the password so we will simply put type here put put request is authenticated and the method is uh, update passwords so we copy it from here paste it in here and also here all right and now let's go back to our postman to test this so you go here put and that is domain slash api slash v1 slash password slash update and in the body we have to pass in here the data then json supposed to have to pass in here the old password 
for example I also have a pass in here the new password let me check that first of all in the authentication login so the password is gulam1 so let's copy it from here and I put in here this one and this one let's move this one from here now let's type here two to check that if it is matches or not so now send so old password is incorrect so now I type here one and click on send and now you get here token back all right so now if you log out from the uh, now so log out successfully and now if you log in again uh, with the same same credentials login so invalid email or password so we have to simply move here from one send and now it is working properly save it close this one this one and let's save this route so that is update password update password of currently logged in user and save it in the users that's it close this one so now uh, we are basically done with the update password functionality and now in the next video we basically have to also update the profile of the current login user if you want to change its name its image a profile picture or if you want to change its email address whatever you want to change all right so we'll handle that route in our next video